Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither here with Kyle and we are going to talk to you today about the benefits of preventative care and she's going to ask me some questions. We've talked about what preventive care does for your dog. We're going to get into a few more specifics this time. So what illnesses are staved off by good preventive care for my dog? How much time do we have? There's a lot of things. <laughs> oh, well, it depends. <laughs> yeah. So one I think about is infectious diseases. So that would be preventative care with vaccinations, um, certain things that we won't see or, or would be preventative, prevented um, would be rabies vaccine, parvo vaccine for our dogs are the two big ones that we think about. Um, also dependent on lifestyle, whether that would be influenza. Um, if your pet's around a lot of other dogs, there's other lifestyle vaccines that we would recommend. Um, you would prevent um, intestinal problems. Um, so if we were talking about proper nutrition, um, that would prevent a lot of times vomiting and diarrhea, which no one wants to see in their pet or clean up. Um, pancreatitis. Things pancreatitis, like, right. Feed so your we, dog fried chicken. or <laughs> That's right. So a lot of times we want to feed them what we're eating, um, but their little bodies, sometimes we're not eating the healthiest, but their little bodies are definitely not made for those foods either. Um, and so then it can lead to pancreatitis or upset stomach that we can prevent by, mm -hmm. by doing that. Um, a few other things that I wrote down, um, skin, um, so we can prevent skin problems by preventing parasites, so fleas and ticks, um, and then also um, heart disease by keeping your pet a healthy weight, doing proper exercise, mm -hmm. so a lot of those preventative measures. Very similar to a lot of human preventive mm -hmm. care then. That's right. So will dog preventive care keep my dog flea and tick free? So I kind of answered this yes and no. So um, it's, we need to understand how preventatives work. Um, and, and also understand the life, the um, environment our pet is in. And so sometimes we get calls about this when a pet um, has a lot of fleas and they're with you know, four other pets at home uh, and the owner calls and says, I want something for my pet's fleas. And they apply that and then two days later they're still seeing fleas. Um, and so, was that to me? Mm -mm, I had an itch. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're still, they're still seeing fleas when they call two days later. And that would be not because the flea product is not working, if it was a good quality product, but it's because of the environment. So that product is working as best it can, but you're in a flea infested, infested environment. Um, so it's going to take time to kind of get through that. Kind of break that cycle. Mm -hmm. so. so if you're consistent with a good quality product, yes but you could still see some fleas and ticks during that time, depending on the situation. I think a lot of people stop preventive when mm -hmm. it starts getting cold. Fleas don't care if it's cold because your dog's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Maybe ticks aren't, aren't quite as... Um, yeah, depends on your area, but with North Carolina here, we have 70 degree days and then 30 degree days, and um, it's just crazy weather even through the winter. Plus, a lot of our pets are inside pets, so they're not right. living out in the element, and they're living in our climate-controlled home with us which fleas and even ticks love yeah and in that sense if they're inside mainly or only if your dog goes out to go to the bathroom it can pick up fleas mm -hmm. if your dog stays inside all the time you can bring them in mm -hmm. so don't get complacent and think that your dog can never get fleas because I've seen it happen many 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 times and right. I know you have to so, or you have the inside dog that maybe never leaves, but you got the cat that goes in and out. Yes, you have to think of all aspects. And cats, may, you may not see them on a cat as much mm -hmm. because they give it all to the dog because it's a cat thing. You That's know? right. There you go. <laughs> How does preventive care help my dog in all stages of life? So the stages of life, thinking about puppies, we touched a little bit on that. We think about vaccines and puppy diseases um, when their immunity is, their immune system is not fully developed or not as um, robust as it could be. Um, the preventative for middle stage of life could be to keep them the most, um, you know, agile, the most um, energetic that they can be living that full life. Um, and that can be by preventing the parasites, um, by 
feeding them the proper nutrition so they're not overweight, so their joints don't feel like an old dog joints when they're only four, year, four years old. Um, and then later in life, um, not that old age is a disease, but things tend to hurt a little worse as we get older um, and diseases can be more, um, we can be more susceptible to them um, as that immune system isn't as robust, robust as we age. So thinking about all those stages. And we talked about in the last video too that prevention is not just medical prevention. Mm -hmm. Prevention for puppies may be crate training your puppy when you're gone so it doesn't eat things that could cause a blockage or right. um, and as you, your pet ages kind of the two ends of the spectrum mm -hmm. taking precautions so it doesn't hurt himself mm -hmm. um, you know raising his food bowl putting a right. carpet down so they don't slip and right. giving them a ramp so there's lots of different aspects of preventive right. control and then oh, along those lines that we haven't talked about is, is behavioral. So we, again, talk a lot about client education. Um, and uh, and you know, one reason that pets end up at a shelter um, <laughs> is because of, un, you know, they're unwanted um, due to a lot of behavioral issues. And so we talk about that in the puppy stages. But if you come to us with a pet that's on up in years, um, there's still hope and there's still things mm -hmm. that we can educate as far as may not at that point be preventative, um, but it may um, be something we can work on and, and do the hard work so that we prevent problems later like having sure. to rehome your pet. Can prevention, preventative care, preventive care <laughs> save my dog's life? I think so. And of course, that's one of those things you may not realize it, but by doing proper prevention, um, you're helping to prevent a lot of diseases that can happen. Well, the prevention, the leash walking, you know, make sure your dog's on a leash or in a safe place. Mm -hmm. The seatbelt or the restraint, car restraint we mm -hmm. talked about. So all those things are prevention and if you practice them well, <laughs> right. you can keep your dog safe and avoid a lot of problems. That's right. So if you have any questions regarding the benefits of preventive care, give us a call and she'd be glad to help you <laughs> and answer any questions you have. Any of the vets would be, but I'll pick on her since she's here. You can pick on me. I know, I always do. <laughs> I can count on her too, so that's important. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you at the next video.